Hi, I'm Dr. Jill. Welcome back to The Dr. Chef and to my prescription kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a smoky turkey chili with sweet potatoes and we're going to be focusing this time on six nutrients that have been shown to be beneficial for aging as well as for mental sharpness and memory. I call it eating from the fountain of youth. So uh, in part two we're going to be making a what we call a memorable black and blueberry blast brownie recipe and then I'm going to show you how to make a four ingredient facial and body scrub that you can use to help keep your skin soft and moisturized. And if you're like me and you've ever walked into your room and thought, now what did I come in here for? Then today's recipes are for you. You've probably heard people say, um, he looks like an old 60 or well, she's a young 73. And I think that what that really means is that there's a lot more to getting older and biological age than just our number, the number of years we've lived. I have cooked some turkey on the stovetop. Here it is right here in a bowl. I left the pot filled with the juices from the turkey. And so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some vegetables to this and we're gonna cook those for eight minutes. Before I do that, I just wanted to tell you what's, what I like about the turkey. Turkey and different meats, even ground beef or chicken, also have um, something in them called serine. Serine is another amino acid. You might've heard me talk about that in my first show with the salmon. Um, but serine is a building block, if you will, for a neurotransmitter in our brains called acetylcholine or first choline, which turns into acetylcholine. In fact, in private practice, I often prescribed acetylcholinesterase inhibitors um, like Aricept, you've probably heard of that, that stops the enzymes that break down acetylcholine. And in the Alzheimer brain, of course, um, there's a lack of production of acetylcholine. So also the meat contains B12 and folate, which are both important in the production of acetylcholine. All right, so let's get started here. We've got the ground turkey. And I'm gonna go ahead and add from my color wheel here, I want you to look at that. I used to tell my patients in practice to eat the rainbow of colors every day. So let's start by doing the two cups of red or purple onion. Very pretty, colorful. Then we have a green bell pepper chopped. And then we have our red bell pepper chopped as well. And not ready for the sweet potatoes yet, but we're gonna do the four cloves of garlic and we have a chopped jalapeno pepper. And then we're gonna put this on the stove top and that again takes about eight minutes to cook. Okay, I have that on about medium high heat and I covered it and that's gonna take about eight minutes. We're gonna check on that and stir it up a little bit too. I like to use lower calorie options and recipes when I can, substituting different things in recipes to make them more beneficial to my health. And the um, colors of the fruits and vegetables contain antioxidants and this is a good time to start talking about free radicals as well. Now, free radicals are these unstable molecules in our body that can cause damage to cell membranes, and that's important when it comes to aging and memory and health. Um, the antioxidants that are in the colors of the fruits and vegetables we eat are there to help combat those free radicals. And I used to tell my patients to eat the rainbow every day because every color is a different antioxidant. And we'll get more into that when we talk about other recipes as well down the road. Um, but when when we talk about antioxidants, of course, we think about vitamin C. Most people don't know that there's actually more vitamin C in bell peppers and in hot peppers than there is in oranges. Another, another antioxidant is beta carotene. And that, of course, is in the sweet potatoes that we haven't added yet. Uh, we're going to be adding two diced sweet potatoes when, when the vegetables are soft. Garlic is also in the recipe, and that contains vitamin E and selenium, vital to our health as well. And the barley we're gonna be serving this over actually also contains some of that selenium. Barley also has B1 vitamins and minerals. B1 is called thiamine, and that's also important for aging and for memory. Another important nutrient for aging is something called coenzyme Q10, which is found everywhere, and it's also called ubiquinone, which also has the comes from the name ubiquitous, so you can see that that means found everywhere. And so it's in a lot of the foods we eat. But coenzyme Q10 is important because it's uh, 
acts like an antioxidant in the body. It's also important for cardiovascular health, which we'll be talking about in their Mediterranean diet series. Coenzyme Q10 is vital for making energy in the body and actually uh, energy in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate in the body in the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria. All right, now let's check on the vegetables. Great, this is looking fantastic. Let me show you. Maybe you can see that from over there. It's very pretty and colorful. And now it's time to add sweet potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and add two diced sweet potatoes. Again, full of beta carotene. And I guess you could technically call these the yams and the sweet potatoes have the lighter flesh, but most of the time in the grocery store, these are called sweet potatoes. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of tomato paste and two tablespoons of chipotles in adobo sauce. Those chilies in adobo sauce actually have that really smoky flavor, which is that and the smoked paprika I'm gonna be adding later what are gonna give this chili that smoky flavor and it smells phenomenal already. So we're gonna stir this up and then we're gonna go ahead and, and deglaze this pan with one cup of apple juice. Now you can also use a Belgian white ale for that. I like the apple juice for the health benefits of the apples. Great, it's smelling terrific right now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and add the turkey. We're gonna add three cups of chicken broth. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of smoked paprika and two teaspoons of salt. And lastly, we're gonna add the pinto beans, which contains serine, like I was talking about earlier with the meat. And serine is that amino acid building block used to make choline. And I'm going to cover that and let it cook on medium for about maybe 40 minutes. We just want those uh, sweet potatoes to get soft. Now, the other thing you could do in this case, if you want it to, you could use a crock pot for this. So after you get this to this stage, you can go ahead and pour it in a crock pot, put it on low heat for four hours, and it's good to go. The only thing you have to do at the end when this is done is add maybe a half tablespoon to a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to just kind of add some flavor there. So that's to taste. You can do that at the end. Otherwise, this is going to take maybe 30 to 40 minutes, and I'm just going to keep checking the sweet potatoes towards the end to see if they're soft. So this is the quick cooking barley. I like to try to incorporate different grains when I can. Again, this has the B vitamins. It's very healthful for you. And B vitamins are just tremendous for many reasons. Today, I'm just talking about specifically the thymine we talked about, as well as the B12 and folate. Another fun fact I wish I had known in medical school is that there is a mind and gut connection. And in fact, they found that when they studied some mice, what they did was they gave mice a maze to learn. At the end of the maze, half of the mice got fed a big meal and half the mice didn't get fed anything. And so the next time they put these mice through the maze, they actually, the ones that had the big meal actually could remember and get through that maze quicker in the, and in the right direction. So there's a neurotransmitter in our gut called CCK or cholecystokinin, which communicates with the brain via the vagus nerve. And it tells our brain when we're full and also has some connection with memory. So next time you need to study for an exam, make sure you eat a big meal after you study and that should help you regain and remember uh, things for your test. I took it off the heat and now we're going to do add that last little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to throw a little bit in there. Mmm, that smells so good. Just a little bit to taste. Adding more salt, pepper, apple cider vinegar if you'd like. I think it's perfect as it is. So we're going to go ahead and serve this. I've already put some barley in the bowls, one cup of barley in the serving bowls. And we're going to go ahead and add about two cups worth of the chili on top. Get some of that juice in there. That's really good stuff. Mixes up really well with that barley. Okay, and the same thing in the second bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and try it all together. Once 
to see how wonderful that looks. I know you can't taste it, but you'll have to make this one. That is so good. It's got that smoky flavor I love. The vegetables are perfectly soft. The sweet potatoes are soft. It only took about 30 minutes. Again, you can do this in the crock pot if you want, but if you're looking for a quicker dinner, you could also just do it on the stove top. That's it for part one. Join me next time for part two of Eating from the Fountain of Youth, where I'm going to be making some memorable black and blueberry blast brownies using a special ingredient that has been shown in studies to help increase longevity in animals. After that, I'll be making a four ingredient body and facial scrub that's sure to keep your skin young looking and hydrated.